Hello friends, welcome to Engineering Funda family. In this video, I am going to solve two very interesting questions based on LED light emitting diode. In my last video, I have explained theoretical background of light emitting diode. If you see that video, in that I have discussed all the basics like how intensity will change in LED, how material selection is there with LED, as well as I have discussed about how working is there with LED and we have seen basics of LED. Right. So, here in this video, I will be solving two questions. See, this is first question and this is second question. What I want is you just try those questions first. That's why I am showing you those questions right now. I hope you might have tried. Now, let us see the solution of first question. So, in first question, you see what is given. Red, green and blue light emitting diodes were fabricated using PN junctions of three different inorganic semiconductors having different band gaps. So, here three colors of diodes that has been fabricated using inorganic semiconductors. Inorganic means here compound semiconductor materials that we were been using for LED fabrication, right. Compound means here we are not using silicon and germanium, remember this. Compound means you will be using uh, compound materials like, uh, uh, see for blue color you can use indium gallium nitride, for green color you can use gallium phosphide. See these are compound semiconductors. Right. So, here in question, see three different colors of LED that we are fabricating using inorganic semiconductors. The built-in voltage of red, green and blue diodes are VR, VG and VB respectively. So, built-in voltage is given. Assume donor and acceptor doping to be same. So, here NA and ND in P and N that is same for all three diodes. And question is, which one of the following relationship about the built-in voltage is true? So, here, see, we need to find relation in between VR, VG and VB. See, here, dimension wise, all the diodes are equal, only materials are different. So, based on color, we need to find which diode is having higher voltage in terms of built-in voltage and which diode is having lower voltage. So, first of all, all we need to do is, we need to understand things in terms of color. So, let me write that. See, as per rainbow color, you need to understand that. So, VIP gear, that is how you will have to understand color in sequence. Right. Now, here, here one thing that you need to understand. See, violet, violet is having highest frequency, right. So, as you move in this direction, as you move in this direction, frequency will decrease. As you move in this direction, frequency will decrease, right. So, highest frequency, highest frequency, right, highest frequency that is there with violet and lowest frequency that will be there with red color, right. Why I am talking about frequency? The reason is based on frequency, you can understand energy band gap. Let me tell you how. See, here energy band gap, here energy, if you talk about energy, then energy is H into F, right. H is Planck constant and F is frequency. So, value of Eg, that will be, that will be based on frequency of color, right. So, you can say violet is having highest frequency. So, energy band gap will be highest with violet color, right. Sometimes data may be given to you in terms of wavelength. So, as if you want to understand same thing in wavelength, then you can say, See, frequency is C by lambda. So, H C by lambda that will be E G. So, here you can understand that in this way. You see, as you move in this direction, as you move in this direction and as if you talk about wavelength, then here you will be having lowest wavelength and here with red color you will be having highest wavelength. Right, that is how you can understand the things. Now, See here our question is based on built in potential, our question is based on built in potential. So, that energy gap that is also based on built in potential, how it relation is there? See E g is proportional to voltage. So, E g is equals to voltage into charge that you can say. So, E g is proportional to built in potential that you can say, right. So, if frequency is highest over here then built-in potential will be also highest. So, now we need to write this uh, voltage of 
this different color in sequence as it is mentioned over here. So, we are having red, green and blue. So, red comes over here. So, let us write VR over here. Let me write VR over here. Then green. So, green comes here. So, VG. And then we have blue over here. So, VB. So, obviously, highest frequency that is there over this side. So, blue is having highest voltage. So, VB is greater than VG and VG is greater than VR. Why? The reason is as you move in this direction, frequency is highest over here, right? So, voltage will be also highest over here as per this sequence. So, we need to see options. So, you can observe here, VR is lower than VG, right? VR is lower than VG, is lower than VB, that even you can say. So, option B, that is correct over here. That is how you can understand the question, right? Let me explain you second question that is also quite interesting. See, a particular green LED emits light of wavelength 5490 angstrom. So, here we are given with lambda that is 5490 angstrom. The energy band gap of semiconductor material used is how much? So, question is based on energy band gap. So, there are two ways by which you can solve this question. See, one is by converting this lambda in terms of micrometer. Let me show you how to do that. See, here if you want energy band gap in terms of electron volt, then that formula is 1.24 divided by lambda in terms of micrometer. So, in this you can substitute lambda in terms of micrometer, you will be having energy in terms of electron volt, right. So, here if you wanted to have that in terms of micrometer, then you should know 5490 angstrom means 10 to the power minus 10. So, if you convert this in terms of micro, you can say 5490 into 10 to the power minus 6 that you need to have. So, 4 digits that you need to shift in this direction. So, you can say 0 0.5490 micrometer means 0 0.5490 into 10 to the power minus 6. So, that is how micrometer wavelength is there with us. Now, just substitute it over here. So, you can say 1.24 divided by 0 0.5490. And if you solve this, 1.24 divided by this, let me check my answer. So, that is 2.258 electron volt. So, you can say this is approximately option A. You can solve this in other way even. Let me show you how. If you don't remember this, then there is one another way. See, here all you can do is you can apply normal calculation formula as we have seen over here, right, this one, Eg is Hc by lambda. So, here Eg, Eg is Hc by lambda. So, here you will be having Eg in terms of joule, remember, H is 6.625 into 10 to the power minus 34, C is 3 into 10 to the power 8, lambda that is uh, 5490 angstrom. So, 5490 into 10 to the power minus 10. You just solve this, you will be getting answer in terms of joule, right. Let me check what is my answer over here, right. So, that will be 6.625 into 3 divided by 5490. So, that has to be 3.5 62 into 10 to the power minus 19 and that is there in terms of joule. Now, if you wanted to have this in terms of electron volt, you will have to divide this by charge of electron. So, if you divide this by charge of electron that is 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19. So, 3.62 divided by 1.6 that is 2.26, right? 2.26 electron volt. So, that is how also we can solve the question. So, it is up to you like how you want to solve the questions. I hope you have understood this. Still, if anything that you would like to share, please note it down in the comment section. I will be happy to help you. Thank you so much for watching this video.